Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour and author of the book, Mrs. Geek's Guide to Google Photos. This Google Photos lesson is going to be about editing pictures using the computer interface for Google Photos. So here I am at on a browser. This is the Chrome browser. And I usually go to Google Photos just by typing photos.google.com into the address bar. But you can also get there with this grid and photos. I've already selected a few photos that I want to edit and I put them in a album called Class Edit Examples so I can just search and find that album and here they are. The first picture here, you the way you edit is you click on it once, it brings the picture up full screen, then you click the pencil to get into edit mode. The first thing that comes up in the edit possibilities is all these filters. Just one click on auto and I think that picture looks lots better. I'm done. Now I go back and let's look at this next picture. Pencil to edit, one click on auto, and that looks good. Now if you want you can just try any of the other filters. That's what these are called. These are all called filters. This button up here says color filters. You also have basic adjustments and crop and rotate. But These are filters and maybe I like what this one uh, does making the more color. Or maybe not. You can just click on any of them and when you see the one you like, you can keep it. If you say, well, I like that one, but it's a little bit too much, notice that there is a slider below it here. So you can have more or less of that effect. I like that. Done. And back out. Third picture. This needs a little bit more. This one is crooked. Click the Edit Pencil, and to straighten it, we're going to use this third tool over here, Crop and Rotate. The way you rotate is to grab this zero point on the right-hand side, and that, when you click, you get a grid. Now you can drag it up until the horizon matches the grid, or if for some reason you wanted it more crooked, you can drag it down, get it to where you like it, and that's good. I also want to crop though. I want to get closer to the subject so I can just drag one of these corners in on both sides. And I happen to like the 16 by 9 ratio. So if I click this little button right here, it will constrain the crop to a particular ratio. So I'm going to click 6 by 9. 16 by 9 so I know that that will fill my computer screen and now I want I am done with the crop and rotate that takes me back to my filters I want to see what auto does ooh that's that's good one of these others is maybe even a little bit bluer I try that and I say I like that but it's a little too much I can back off and now I know that I want to edit the next picture. So instead of clicking done and having to get out and then back in, I can just click to the next picture. This one definitely needs to be rotated. I click the crop and rotate tool, drag the slider up until the mountain looks straight. But now I don't want the mountain right in the middle. That's not good looking. So I want it so that the mountain is in one-third of the picture. I used crop to get it that way. And I'm done with the crop and rotate. I click on auto. And that's okay, but it doesn't do a whole lot. I try a couple other the filters. I don't, that doesn't look good at all. Or that one doesn't look good at all that one doesn't look real good. I think I'll leave it on auto, but I still want some more. Now I'm going to use this middle button, which is the adjustments. Click on adjustments and notice what pop does. If I drag pop over, 
it does just that. It makes it pop. It's more sharp and there's more distinction between the foreground and the background. And I like that. I can click Next Picture. This one, the only thing that's wrong with it is that my face is in the shadow. I'm going to go back to the filters and just try an auto. That looks good. Next picture. This one needs a crop and a rotate and it needs to be improved with the color. First I will click crop and rotate. I believe in doing the cropping first so that when you start working with the colors it doesn't have to adjust colors in parts of the picture that you're not keeping. Straighten it. Crop the railing out and done. Then go back to filters and auto and now I want to kind of frame this picture. I'm going to do that with vignette and that's on the basic adjustments and it's under light. See this light here changes brighter and darker but if you click on the little down arrow you get even more options and the one I want is all the way at the bottom called vignette and it just puts a an edge around it. Now I am going to click Done and when we return to the library you will see that all the pictures beforehand are now saved. And the last thing to show you is what if you decide, oh I really don't like that, I want to get back to my original. You click the picture, click the pencil, undo edits and done and you're back to your original and that is editing using the computer interface for Google Photos